In this episode, hacks on how to protect yourself better. Say you're on public transport and you're feeling really, really tired and you want to take a nap and you're worried about your belongings. The majority of us would actually put the bag on our arms just like that. When you're sleeping, you get very relaxed. So you tend to just kind of maybe flop out like this maybe. Depends on how deep you sleep. And then people can just easily take your bag off and then just yank it, just like that. So here's what you can do to keep your belongings safer. Okay, so I've got my bag here and I'm going to thread my bag onto my leg like this. I'm gonna cap it, put it on my lap and it's just like that. Okay, so if anyone's gonna try and snatch it, you're gonna wake up. Another trick is if you have a jacket, you can actually wear it backwards so that it protects all your things. So when you wear your jacket like this, your things will be more protected and you will feel safer. So this is also good for the guys out there that keep things in their pockets. It's a good way to keep all your things safe. You know how sometimes when you cut your finger on the very tip, it can be really, really annoying to put a band-aid on there because you've got all these like extra bits hanging off. <laughs> so now I'm going to teach you how to cut a band-aid so that it fits the tip of your finger better. What you want to do is you want to cut in the middle of the band-aid on two sides. So I've got my little fake cut here and then I'm going to put the band-aid over that. So once I've got the band-aid on the area that I want it on, I want to grab one little flap, bring it down, paste that on and then go on the opposite side, bring that up. So basically you just want to crisscross it and then I bring that down and then that one goes up and there you have it. You don't have that square little top thing that can be really annoying. It is nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere until I rip it off. <laughs> so say you've got a band-aid on your finger and you want to protect the wound from getting wet. All you need to do is you need to grab a balloon and you just put this over the wound. Stick your finger in the balloon like this and now it is nicely protected. So now if you want to wash the dishes or go shower, your wound will be protected. Now if you're walking alone at night and you sense a little bit of danger, a good way to protect yourself is to actually use your keys. Now some people won't have mace or knives or other things to protect themselves so a good little weapon is to have your keys mm. okay and all I have to do is I just put them in between my fingers just like that and then if someone wants to attack you you can just punch them with the keys just like Wolverine so not all of us can carry pepper spray or a knife around, so this is a great alternative. If you are in any danger, this could do some really bad damage. Now if ever you need to release a cable tie and you don't have any scissors to cut it open or a knife or something, a simple way to open it is to just use a pin or some kind of really small sharp object. So I have my cable tie right here and I'm just going to flick this around and what you need to do is you need to get your pin and kind of insert it in between in that little groove there. <laughs> what do you call it? So what you want to do is you want to insert the pin in between the catch and the cable tie. So once you've got the pin in, you just simply slide the cable tie out, just like that. Super simple. Now if you ever lost your phone, don't freak out because I'm going to teach you a way to find it really easily. All you got to do is you go into Google and then you write, where's my phone? And then this will come up right here. So first thing that happens when you log in is a giant map will come up and show you the location of where your phone is at. You'll see three options. The first one is play sound, which I'm going to do right now. So I've got my certain... There you go. So this actually works even if your phone is on silence. You may have misplaced your phone and you can't find it in the house, so this is a good way to find it. So the second option is to actually lock your phone. And what this does, you can actually write a message to your phone so that the person that has got your phone can read the message. So you can give them a contact number for them to call you back on. As you can see, my phone has got the message right there and you can call the owner. Pretty cool, right? So if the person's gonna be really mean and not return your phone, the third option is you can erase everything on your phone. Or you have to do is go to erase and then push that button which I'm not going to do because I don't want to erase all my things and this way everything is safe and they can't get any information from your phone. So for Apple users you can go to this URL and it will do pretty much the same thing. Now if ever you want to borrow someone else's computer or you want to use a public computer always use incognito mode. What it does it actually hides all the things that you've been doing on the computer. It won't leave traces of your history or your passwords. Just go to the three little dots on the right hand corner go to new incognito window and then I want to go to my Gmail 
email. And to find out if you are in incognito mode, all you have to look out for is the little icon on the top right hand corner and it's like a little dude with a hat and glasses. So once you're done using the computer, all you have to do is close the window and it will go back to the original page and it's like as if you were never there in the first place. So here's another tip for all you extra paranoid people. A good little trick also is to cover your camera with either a sticker or some kind of cardboard or something or other because hackers can hack into your computer and record everything and watch what you're doing. I've got a permanent thing over my camera because I'm forever topless baby when I'm at home. Yes. If you're clumsy and you're prone to slicing your finger when you're cooking, I'm going to teach you how to make a nice little finger safety guard. Okay, so all you need is a bottle, pen knife and some glue. Okay, yes I have scissors as well, I know. So what you want to do is you want to cut a strip out of the bottle like this. Doesn't matter how it looks, you can just aga aga. You can make it as thick or as wide as you want. So I've got my little bit here, looks like this. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut the sharp little corners off, so just make it nice and round so you don't poke yourself further. Now there is no sharp edges people. Put this aside and then you want to cut the, what's this called huh? The head of the bottle. So now I'm just going to melt the edges so that it doesn't cut me. Make it nice and smooth basically. So I've got my two pieces all ready to go and next thing I want to do is I just want to glue this bit onto the ring. Just hold it there until it dries. So now obviously I have to wait for that to dry so I have prepared one earlier and it is right here. How this works is you put your finger in the ring just like this and then you want to hold your vegetable or whatever you want to cut and then you just go ahead and that's all there is to it. Your fingers are safe. So you can make nice thin slices without cutting yourself and it's really easy. Ooh, I've got glue all over my fingers, everything is sticking to me. And there you go. Look at the magic. So when you're packing, a great way to hide all your expensive gadgets is to actually wrap your gadgets with the clothes that you have. Okay, so right here I've got an iPad and I'm going to place it on my shirt. Fold the shirt around the iPad like this. Same on the other side. Fold this up here, again like that. And there you go, it is nice and protected. And then I'm gonna place more clothes on top of that. So if any thieves wanna open up your luggage and steal your stuff, they're not gonna see that you've got gadgets inside your shirts. Not only that, it is extra padding for all your gadgets. And that is it for this episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. You can check it out at tandemmerch.com. You may find something you like. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. Or you could just download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos before they hit YouTube. Eh? Thanks for watching guys. Mwah.